absolutely amazing. This is the maker space, and uh, I'm really impressed with how much they have here for us to play with. It's really cool. I think there's a huge focus shift to the developers and specifically the makers, because people actually have an opportunity to touch and feel and experience and see these really cool things. This is my first idea of, and I think it's fantastic, honestly. It's a great place, and I've met a whole bunch of fantastic people. A more hands-on IDF means that more people have access to some of the amazing tools that Intel is a part of. This is the ultimate makerspace, which has been created by Intel to be a place for software developers and makers and all of the IDF attendees to come in and be able to, to spend some time building things, whether they're very complex Galileo board sensors uh, to very simple uh, light up name badges. And what we're showing here is a process that we like to call scan, edit, and share. And because this tablet has a 3D camera in it, you can actually use it to scan small objects, which I've done of myself right here. And then we can actually use a 3D printer to take the virtual world, make it physical, and share it with our friends. And this is all powered by Intel RealSense 3D camera for tablets and 3D systems 3D printing technology. Connect Anything is a piece of software that we've developed for rapid prototyping on the Galileo. On your mobile device, you can see your sensors and actuators, and you can map them to one another and program them very quickly. So we've set up a game here where you have sensors hooked up to different motors on this board. And we've created a game of spinball, which is competitive pinball. So it's all sensor-based, multiplayer, and it's something that we were able to prototype very quickly using Connect Anything. This is our Galileo Near Space project, and the goal was to send the Galileo One board as high as possible. We reached 97,000 feet, which is almost 19 miles. Uh, the project was composed by a Galileo One board, some sensors, a logger that was running in the box that you see here to isolate it from temperature. Uh, on the base, uh, we had other GPS positioning and a backup computer. And all this was brought up by a balloon, a weather balloon filled with helium. I'm a, a mobile developer. I don't usually play with the hardware. So I'm having an absolute blast getting to work with the Galileo, getting, our, getting my hands into the electronics and building the sensors. And when you can come to a conference, it's, it's always about the interaction and learning about the technology, but if you, if you can walk away having learned something, then that becomes really valuable, I think, to really all the attendees. Intel has a fantastic background in manufacturing hardware and software, but what happens when you put that and you give people a little bit of tools to start solving their own problem? And I think that's also one of the great things about having a makerspace and focusing on makers. I think it's great to show people what you're actually doing with the tools that you're releasing. I love it. Cool, interesting, fun. <laughs>